Leg side again. Got to get his line right here. Line leg is up, so the ball uh, trickling away to the rope. Firmly punched, and we saw this a lot from Cook in that brilliant hundred in the second innings at Headingley's front foot play was very fluent. Yeah, it is sensational, this shot. Look at that. It really does not get better than that. Look at the straight bat. It's not a flourish that you'd get maybe with, say, a Lara or someone like that with a big back lift. Just a punch. Boom. Take that four. Oh, just past second slip. Firm-footed push from Cook. Now, we'll have to check this. I had a feeling there that as Mills got uh, hand on ball, his foot may have been touching the rope. On ball and foot. I reckon that's four. Yeah, it is. Lovely shot from Ian Bell. Just uh, more flowing than the four from Alistair Cook previously. It's completely the same result. Beauty. Absolute beauty from Bell. But with this elevated position up to open the innings, I tell you, if he doesn't go close to leading run scorer in the Champions Trophy in English conditions at the top of the order, I'll be very surprised. And a gift. Just too straight from Carl Mills, helped on its way by Alistair Cook. Even better by Alistair Cook. He talked about his balance in the early part of his innings. He's just beginning to accelerate now. It's going across him. He's been beaten across the body a couple of times. He hits it on the up. But the difference here is he hits it so late. He hits this right beneath his eyes. It's then gone. Well, Bell just lost his patience. Big whoosh outside the off stump and an excellent catch from Luke Ronke. And Salvi again is the initial wicket taker for New Zealand. Beautifully timed. This time he did get on top of the bounce. Edged and gone. Another good sharp catch from Luke Ronke. The captain goes this time. And McCallum got it from his trump card because Cook was getting a little frustrated. Fourth ball of the over. Not able to make anything happen off that line. Decided I've got to play more expansively. Goes for the pads, caught up to it, times it nicely. Outfield not quick, so won't go for four. Well, shouldn't go for four. Shouldn't go for four, made a real mess of it. That's a good shot. Got down the pitch, got close to it. Yeah, great footwork and a lovely shot too. It's all timing, but a flick of the wrist there, just to try and guide it into the gap. It's a poor line, and he gets what he deserves. All it needed was a little bit of bat on it, down the leg side. It's a gift, which is what England needed. Just lifts the pressure a little bit. Let's break, let's break. Enjoying a great summer. And it continue. Break, the young man. Brings the 100 up, and the 50 partnership between these two. Ten, down the ground and four. I'd have taken Franklin out of the attack before this over. Certainly is after uh, a boundary with the first ball of the fourth over. He's already gone for 23 and over seven runs and over. So he's under pressure now, James Franklin. Yeah! That's bowling. And Root tried to improvise, trying to get it to the offside. Partnership was nice, but just felt that uh, they needed to get on with things a little bit, a little, a little more and. He will do. There you go. He's off the mark with four down the ground. Shouts of catch, and that's exactly what has happened. Straight down the throat of Ross Taylor. Ambitious attempt. Just didn't have the legs on it. Well, it's gone straight up in the air. Brilliant for New Zealand. And he's gone cheaply. 
Well, just late to pull out. In the end, completely confused. Outdone by the pace and the bounce of McLennan. Yeah, good from McLennan. Saw him coming. Well, looking for the gap, he's found it this time. Not with uh, full power, so it won't be four. <laughs> well, in the end, they ran for. Nathan McKellum has got to chase it. It's not going to reach the boundary. Assess the situation, gets down, slides down, and then that's for... Oh! <laughs> well, he's hit that beautifully. Hit that really well, but it's four, not six. Oh, it's down. It's a great effort. Just a little bit of bounce, trying to hit on the up, and just didn't quite get there. It's hard, not stopping that. Great hands from Butler. Goes for the reverse, and gone! What a big wicket that is. Butler's reverse swept him to point, and McCullum's gambles paid off. Went for the big shot, straight to point. Oh, should be tight with a hit. Oh. Misses. Williamson misses as well. Nathan McCullum is sharp. Look, don't take them to him. Do not take them to him. Out, out, and out in any language. He couldn't catch it. All over Bresnan. New Zealand are missing half chances now. Definite one there. Go! Over extra cover in the gap. Good from Wokes. That's gone straight up. Will it find the gap? No, it doesn't. Steadied himself off the bottom of the bat. Up it goes. Calls very early. He's got it. He takes it. That's a good shot. Gave himself a bit of room so that he could hit it straight. Good way to end the over for England. Stock sweep. Man out in the deep, but he won't get that. That's what England need. They need runs and they need them quickly. thinking okay another boundary and it's not a bad over yeah that was a long hop if you're gonna bang it well bowled slow delivery completely deceived him excellent bowling all the pace off it was committed to the shot they just rolled out the fingers it's great when it works for the seamer that's him southy Rolls out like a little leg cutter. Bat, bat and ball, and that's not a bad shot at all. Still trickles into the boundary. Man out in the mid wicket region has no chance. One bounce. Smack. Frustrating that for his captain. Won't be happy with that. So, last ball. Good shot, straight to the man at mid-off. Well, he didn't find the gap, Graham Swan. Got enough bat on it, but did not find the space needed to get it to the boundary. Nathan McCullum at mid-off. Did it pretty well. He's never messing that up. Wasn't to be. 227 then for nine, England. Edged, and has it been caught? I think it has. What a start from Anderson. A duck on debut for Rongchi. Just a little bit of swing. Terrific seam position. Hitting that towards mid-arm. And takes the outside edge and Graham Swan does the rest. That's a good catch. Edged and I think that's been caught. What a start from England. Brilliant from Butler. Game pretty full, just pushing at it. Now that's excellent. That would not have carried and slip low and in the right hand corner magnificent clipped away that feels slightly slower but not slow enough first boundary for New Zealand just protecting square leg that needs protection as well on the offside played here very well in the first innings Ross Taylor 70 odd of Headingley play this young man driven for four save your legs beautiful cover drive 
That's better. Open the face, find the gap. Lovely cover drive on the up. It's a lovely shot. England might just have to drag their length back here a bit. There's not a lot of movement. There's not a lot of swing. Too full. Driven away. Spoiled a good over. 31 for two. Again, full and gun barrel straight. That's the key. Anderson is such an experienced swing bowler. But at the moment, there's no swing for him. There was a little movement at the start. But when it's gun barrel straight like that, full length ball, just an opportunity for a player of Ross Taylor's class. Yeah. Top edge. Oh, just over. I think Bresnan got a hand to it. I think the third umpire just waiting to see what happened here. It's six. It went all the way over. But you're right there, Arthur. He was right back on the ropes. He would have taken that just about chest high. Didn't get back that quickly to get himself under the ball. Here's Bresnan. Yeah. Who is straight this time, but uh, he's going to start with a four as well. Well, to keep bowling there to Ross Taylor, this game could be over very quickly. Clipped leg side. That's where he's strong, that's where everyone's strong. Under partnership comes up, and 50 for Guptill. Yeah, back in form. Uh, so important for New Zealand that he is back in form. Senior player at the top of the order. Big Champions Trophy tournament coming up. They'll need him in form, and they'll need Taylor. Driven. He likes pace on the ball, does Guptill. Ardegon would spin against him. Captain sees it differently, 107 for two. Oh, that's one of the men that's up at mid-off. And that's been hit. I think it was all the way. Yep, given as a six. I reckon he plays spin all right. <laughs> it's about as good a shot as we've seen all day. We didn't see much of that from England against the off-spin. Up and over. That's his favourite shot. He loves it there. You're not catching that up, Joe Root. 50 then for Ross Taylor. Showed some form in the test matches, continuing it on in the one-dayers. That's a cracking shot. It won't get through. Mid-off gets there, Anderson. Hey. A hurry back for two. Good fielding, Jimmy Anderson. Oh, is there an edge there? I think there is, yes. Inside edge, the change to Anderson's worked. Yeah, a little inside edge. Easy catch for Joss Butler. Now then, that's the breakthrough England needed. Well, it's through there. Kept on bowling it up there eventually. Yeah, I mean, I'm not blaming Cook for this. For the very reason I've just said, you know, I think he's right to have the men up where they were. But if you then get a full wide half volley. Well, I'll tell you what, there might have only been one coming from the first five balls, but the final ball, the over goes for six. Over, long on. Well, looked out to me, slower ball, but hang on. He, oh, hang on, he's gone to it straight away. It makes you wonder if he's hit it. Oh, he's hit it hard. <laughs> Not just hit it, he's middled it. And that's exactly what Diaris is here to do. To take care of the shocker. And Alan Dar doesn't make many of them, but that has quite rightly been overturned. Now he's gone over the offside. That's good cricket. Then it had been the quieter of the two in the partnership. Uh, the execution is beautiful. The footwork's really good there. Yay! All in. Beautifully bowled from Swan. Using the slope, there's a bit of spin there, and he found a gap. Just getting the right hand of feeling outside the off stump. A little bit of turn between band pad. They're going well at the moment. 40 overs done, 185 for four. Thrashed away, there is a man in the deep coming in, should be taken, is taken. Now then, do England believe McCullum, the captain, has gone? From that reverse sweep that he played very early on to Graham Swan and the big Mo 
And now this, the squirted drive out to deep point where Owen Morgan has taken the catch, albeit not particularly safely. Yeah, excellent use of the feet. Ruins a good over, would have been a good over for Joe Root, but it goes for seven. Now there is a man in the deep, but he's nowhere near enough to pick it out of the crowd. Too short from Dernbach. There, it just looks as though he's hit it straight up in the air, but he's a strong man. And the boundaries are short. Well, there he goes again. He can strike the ball. Oh, that was a long chase. Oh, that's close. I think he got in though. Walks it is. No, he's well in. Well in. It's gone right through. That's four buys. It could have almost hit the helmet as well. And that would have been five. That would have been the end of the game. <laughs> there it is. Goes for four. 103 to Martin Guptill. Well played. Well, that is a brilliant performance from a young man desperate for form, desperate for one performance to trigger, to re trigger. He's a terrific young player and he's a dedicated young batsman. So, 100 here at headquarters to win a game. That's the most important thing to win a game of cricket after a side with two wickets for one run. That means quite a lot.